it's crazy, like, the difference a year makes, right? Because, like, last year, we were on top. We had everything we wanted. We had the title. We had the fame. We had the crowd. We had the money, the promotion, everything. And then you fast forward this year, it's, like, gone, right? I thought we were good. I thought it was good. I got rid of Sims. I got rid of JD. No more of that nonsense. I made the No Limits title mean something. And then December comes, and I, I tear my meniscus, my first big injury. And it's like, facade comes the same day with the same injury. Neither one of us cleared. And yet I keep wrestling for months on end against doctor's orders destroying my knee. Who knows if one day I have a child and I want to take them to school and I can't because I'm destroying my knee for this company who tosses me aside after I get jumped and lose my No Limits Championship with no proper one-on-one -on -one rematch at all, right? <laughs> it's like, it's like the psyche just keep repeating themselves and then they wonder why I spaz out. But <laughs> like, I don't get it because now Facade comes back, and you guys cheer him like he's a hero when he left y'all. You cheer for Danny as if I didn't set the blueprint for Danny Moe with Cosmic a long time ago. Pero, like always, it's just like I'm chatting. It's just like I'm just rambling and rambling, and no one, no one really seems to listen. And then last month, y'all watch Danny Moe lose to Tessa Blanchard. Tessa attacks me for no reason. And happy ass Paul Bo wanna give me the middle finger. What happened? Y'all all joined him. Y'all all joined him. Flipping me the bird. Pero that's fine. You know what? <laughs> Cause I went to therapy. I've been talking to Marcus and he thinks we need boundaries. So I'm putting up these boundaries and I'm done with y'all. Because I have fought way too We're going back to basics. Do you trust me?